This world will test you to your very core. It'll knock you down and kick dirt in your face. And in these moments, the universe will be asking you one simple question. How bad do you really want it? How bad? You're going to lose all your money, all your friends, all the people you care about. And when that happens, do you still want it bad enough to keep getting back up and keep moving forward? If you can find your why for doing this and for sticking it out, in spite of all the pain, you can find a way to win. You've got to keep that belief alive. Your belief in why you're doing this. What is it that makes it worth it to you to keep standing up in the face of all these setbacks? If you can keep your belief alive, you can make it. That belief is what will keep you pushing forward. When you believe that there is a way, you will find a way. And if you can't find one, you will make one. Because a person who has a belief in themselves and what they're doing and knows without a shadow of doubt that they deserve what they're fighting for, they won't ever back down. No matter how rough it gets, no matter how many rejections they got to go through, no matter how many people come up against them, they will keep standing and keep showing up to the battle. You're going to have so many moments where you doubt yourself, where you think you can't go on. But I want you to remember, these rough times haven't come to stay. They've come to pass. Not getting what you want can be the most valuable experience of your life. You got to think of each problem as a gift, an opportunity for growth and learning. When you operate in chaos, when everything turns upside down for you, that's where true greatness is forged. These are the moments that define champions. These are the crucibles where the strongest versions of ourselves are shaped. I need you to have the courage to act outwardly on those visions you see inwardly. That dream that you have, that life you want to live. You got to hold on to that idea so tightly that no matter how dark things get around you, you never let it go. You keep it clear and in sight and in focus inside your mind. The path to success isn't easy. It's going to break you down to your absolute lowest. But the difficulty itself is what prepares you and propels you to higher levels of achievement. So when all hope seems lost, when the pain won't stop, when things you never thought would happen do happen, you find a reason to keep going. Because you're a warrior. You don't run from pain. You embrace it. Pain is a part of life. But suffering is a choice. And you choose to push through it. Tough times never last, but tough people do. And you have to decide that you're going to be tough. How do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times? You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You got to believe in your vision, your dreams, your ideas unquestionably. When you have faith, that faith gives you patience. Patience that things will get better as you move forward over time. But you have to keep moving and keep plugging away. These lessons are the building blocks of your success. Each failure, each rejection is a step closer to your goal. They're not just stumbling blocks, they're stepping stones. They're a step in the staircase in order to go higher. When those terrible things happen to you, you're going to have that negative voice, that internal dialogue telling you you're not good enough. Don't allow that voice to take over you. Engage in a battle with that negative part of yourself. Shut it down and block it out. And block out any other voice that tells you you can't make it. Listen to that voice inside you that says it's possible. It's possible I can do this. I know I have what it takes. I know that where I am right now is not where I'm going to be for the rest of my life. I have so much more to give. I have the power to change everything for me. And I'm not going to stop until I get what I want because I deserve it. I deserve a better life. And you can't kind of want that thing. You got to want it with every bit of your heart, every bit of your being. You got to be willing to pour every bit of your energy, effort and focus into it in order to make it happen. It's going to push you harder than anything else ever has. Make a personal declaration to wage war against being average. You have full control over your mind and therefore your life. 
It's about taking conscious, determined efforts to reinvent your life and committing wholeheartedly to your goals. 